Sterner. It's 8.30. We have a kick butt workout this morning. We're gonna start with our warm up and then we'll do three rounds of Barada, a combination of bar yoga functional movement in the Tabata format. And then we will end with a cool down. That's the sweet treat, that stretch that feels so great. And then a three to five minute meditation. All right, Friday. I'm gonna turn this down just for a second.
two more. Now we're going to stay up and go in and out. In and out. Two. Last one. And release. Arms out. You're going to curl in and out. Curl down at a pulse. Squeeze your booty at the top. You know I'm going to say it. Squeeze. Four more. Two. Last one. Stay low. Fingertips behind your ears. Slowly side to side. Warm up those obliques. Weights in your heels. Where are your toes? Lift those toes. Eight more. Squeeze your booty. Keep breathing. You got it. Four more. Two. One and release. Arms down. You're going to inhale. Arms down. Exhale. Rise up. Press through the balls of your feet. Lift your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Remember that pause at the top. Squeeze and pause. Four more. Last one. And release. Draw your heels to first position at an angle. Shoulders over your head. Squeeze your booty. You're going to tap 45 degrees in front of you. Press with your toe back to first position. And then a long lunge in the back. Back to first. Tap first. Lunge first. Slow and controlled. Tap. Together. Back. Together. Four more. Take your time. Draw up. With this heel, you want the toes to be lifted right here. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to lift. You're at a slight angle here. External rotation. Good. Opposite arm up. Lift. 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 It's okay if you lose your balance. No big deal. I'm right there with you. Just jump back in. Two, one, and release. Good, we're gonna switch it over to the other side from first position. Tap, first, lunge. Tap, first, lunge, first. Tap, first, lunge, first. Good. Toes are lifted, weights in this heel. Woo! Four more. Three, last one, point together, back together, now externally rotate, lift your opposite arm up, pulse, pulse, engage those abs, eight, four, three, two, one, and release, good. Now we curtsy, stand up, alternate, curtsy to the other side. Curtsy, curtsy. Good, fingertips just gently behind the ears, keeping a nice tall posture, open chest, weights in your front heel, toes are always lifted there. Four more each side. Two. Last one each side. Good. Take it back here. We're going to pulse. Hand on your thigh. Pulse down. Down. Toes are lifted. Weights in your heels. Squeeze that booty. Engage that core. For eight. Four. Three. Two. One. To the other side. Pulse it here. Down. Down, toes are lifted. Eight. Four. Two, one. Back to the other side. What a cool jacket, baby. See if we're gonna pulse again. Say hi. You can pulse here or on the floor. Wherever you are, let's hit it. Down, 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 down. Say happy Friday, girl. What's up? Four, 
three, two, one, rise up, back to the center, over to the other side, mirror what you did, whether you're here or on the floor, pulse down, down, <laughs> I like that you're dancing, it's Friday, let's have a dance party later, yeah, whoop. two, one, rise up, press through your heel, feet together, widen your stance, second position, arms out, have a seat, you're going to go side to side, stay low, drop your tailbone, good, eight more, four, two, last one, back to the center, inhale, arms reach overhead, take one knee in, then the other, pulse down twice. Come on, Friday. Have a little fun. Try to alternate whichever knee you're starting with. Each time. Squeeze your booty. Engage that pelvic floor. Last two. Last one. And release, good. Micro bend in your knees. What are you, okay? Flat back, work against gravity. Engage that core. Bend your knees slightly, toes are lifted. Inhale and exhale, arms up. Neutral neck. Um, fist with your thumbs up. You're gonna squeeze, release. Engage those rhomboids as you exhale. Exhale, release for eight. Four, three, two, one. Pulse it up, up, squeeze, squeeze, eight. Four, three, two, one. Now we go side to side. Get your booty back. Engage that core. Come on, Friday. Four. Two. Last one. Back to center. Hands down. Cougar squats. Booty down. Toes lifted. Gaze comes with you. Take it up and down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down, good. Draw your belly button in tight. Two more. Last one, pulse down. Down, draw your belly button in, squeeze your booty. Eight. Four, three, two, one, and release. Slowly roll on up. Shoulder roll, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, back down, cougar squats. Second set. Option, put those stilettos on. Or keep your flat feet. Do what works for you. Take it down, up, down, up. Eight more. Use that breath. Exhale as you come down. Four more. Drop a leg's hat. Two. One, pulse down, down, squeeze, squeeze, good, eight, four, three, two, one, release your heels to the floor, rise up, protect your core, hands on your inner thighs, you're going to lift and lower, if that's too much, alternate lifting, let's get that quiver on together, open your chest, Good, eight more. Yes, that's some good stuff right there. Quiver, quiver. Lean into that discomfort, that change. Four more. Two, last one. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Rise on up. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Raise that knee. Exhale, inhale. 
exhale, inhale, good, eight. Four more. Two, one, other side, exhale, twist. Exhale, twist. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, eight. For four. Last two. Last one. Release. Wide stance, low V. Pivot on your foot. Alternate, low V. Twist, twist. Pivot on the ball of your feet each time. Lift that heel. Good, we'll take our arms to the middle. In two, one, here we go, middle, middle, middle. Twist, twist, good, reach, reach, twist, twist. Eight more, and then we'll take our arms up high. Keep breathing, keep moving, keep warming up. We're almost there, four more. Two. Last one, take it up high. Here we go. Reach, reach, lengthen, strengthen. Come on, Friday. Get it done for eight. Four. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, but I get it. Two. One. Yeah. And release. Active rest here. Grab some water. I hope you're feeling nice and warm. Towel off if you need to. Yes, John J. Bush says squeeze. That's right, squeeze your booty. <laughs> Grab some water, stay hydrated. I'm gonna demo Thanks. round one in just a second. Thanks, you water? Yeah. All right. Grab your, actually we don't need weights for the first round, just for the second round. So first round, have your feet together, ankles under your hips, fingertips behind your ears. You're gonna step back, one lunge, step back, the other lunge, then you're gonna do standing bicycle. The key is, in those bicycles, toes are lifted, micro bend in the knee, squeeze that booty. All right, so we'll just alternate. Try to focus on your non-dominant side. So try to start with that side to mentally make that shift um, to create more balance, right? Because our bodies, our minds, we're naturally gonna always wanna go to that dominant side. So if we're not consciously training that non-dominant side, it's gonna stay the same. All right, so the next one is deadlift. Okay, so you do have weights for this, I'm sorry. So you will have weights or water bottles or soup cans, or you can skip it, really, it's up to you. Deadlift, micro, bend in your knees, toes are lifted, inhale as you work your way down, kind of along your shins, then exhale, press through your heels, still keep that bend in your knees, you're gonna come up low row. But here's the deal, I want you to drop your elbows after that, and you're gonna go into a tricep jack. Then back down, inhale, Exhale, squeeze your booty, low row. Remember, drop down, then out, in. You wanna protect those shoulders. So make sure you make that adjustment so we can target those triceps. So then the next one, last one, options. We're going to do a push-up. You can be on your knees. Then come up, mountain climber push up, back up, mountain climber, then jump or walk up, burpee. Option to progress, you're down, push up, and then lift, mountain climber, push up, lift, then burpee. You can even add that knee tuck if you want to. Um, so do what works for you, meet yourself where you are today. You do you, I'll do me, we'll do it together, we'll get it done Friday, all right. I'm gonna hit that 10 second setup and we'll jump right into those lunges and bicycle crunches. All 
All right, we got 10 seconds set up here. Fingertips behind your ears. Squeeze your booty. Let's do it. Lunge back, together, back, together, crunch, crunch. Continue. Try to be mindful. What side you're starting with? Alternate each time or try to continue to start with that non-dominant side. Either way, let's create a little bit of a brain challenge. Squeeze, squeeze, release. When you're in those standing biceps, or I mean bicycles, really squeeze the booty in that standing leg. Coming in hot. Let's go. Down, up, down, up, crutch, crutch. Good. Back at it. Right here, squeeze, bam, squeeze, bam. Keep moving, keep breathing. 
progress, drop your weights. All right, we're going into those push-up mountain climber, push-up mountain climber, burpee, your version. Here we go. Remember, you can be here on your knees, then up, tap, repeat. You can walk it in, or you can do the full progression, push-up, tap, push-up, tap, jump it up. You can add that tuck if you want. You go with your bad self. Good. Wherever you are in that push-up, wide fingers pressing into the outer edges. Here we go. Take it down. Push-up. Inhale down. Exhale up. You got it. Squeeze that booty. You know I'm gonna say it. Up. Active rest. Keep moving, keep breathing. You got it. Here we go. Squeeze your booty. Wide fingers. Quality over quantity. Take your time.
modification because I know that this exercise is a great functional movement, but it's not for everyone. So a really great um, alternative, elbows in. We're gonna do rotator cuffs. So you can just alternate out, out, in, in. That's an option. Progression, if your knees are all good, you're gonna come down, non-dominant side, non-dominant side, then step up. So these are step ups. Just to help us get up and down off the floor, right? All right, super simple, super effective. I'm gonna hit that 10 second setup and let's hit it. All right, one or two weights, whatever works for you. Arms up, feet just a little wider than your hips. Good, inhale side, exhale, tricep extension, lift those heels and repeat. Your breath, your movement, these are suggestions. So do what works for your body. Meet yourself where you're at today. Wherever you are, squeeze your booty in the center there. Protect that core, that canister. Release, good. Active rest, three seconds, set up. Let's hit it. Inhale side, exhale center. Inhale, exhale tricep. Squeeze your booty. Toes are lifted, except for when you press through the balls of your feet right here. Other than that, toes are lifted. Weights in your heels, and you're squeezing that booty. You know I'm gonna say it. And release, good, active rest. Keep moving, keep breathing. All right, coming in hot. Let's hit it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breath to movement. What's up, Friday? And release, good, active rest. 10 second rest, oh, the shoulder rolls feel good. Three seconds, let's hit it, last one. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, squeeze your booty, squeeze, good. So happy when it gets its turn. And we train our brain, create that balance, that mind body connection.
more. Take your time. Move with intention. Alternate whichever side you're starting with. Active rest. Keep moving, keep breathing. Three seconds. Non-dominant side. Let's hit it. Slow and controlled. Quantity over quantity. Quanti quality over quantity is the focus. Keep moving, keep breathing. Good, active rest. Hey, bud. All right, let's get after it. Down, down, up, up. Super important that your toes are lifted here. You're not putting any pressure on those knees. You want it on your booty, on those glutes, right? Those glutes, baby, that's right. Squeeze that booty. Activity completed. Activity completed. Round two is the roo. Good work, y'all. Nice job. Grab some water. Towel off. Stay hydrated. All right, y'all, y'all know I love me some abs. I got some really good abs today. Gonna burn it out, get it done. All right, we are gonna use a weight. If you got one, we're gonna do a jackknife for our first ab exercise, round three. You're gonna lay it down, and then your chest, your weight can be on your chest or arms up over your head. This doesn't, my bicep doesn't like this, so I'm gonna be here. But if you have no shoulder or bicep issues and you wanna do this, you'll have longer levers and you will have a progression in your abs. Otherwise, you're here, and then you're gonna exhale, lift with your shoulders, chin to the ceiling, crunch up. Exhale, yep. Inhale down. If that's too much, option, option to shorten your levers. You can have bent knees here. So do what works for you. Progress, modify in whatever way works for your body. And then our next one is flat back, no air between you and the mat, legs up the wall, and then lift your arms up. So we're gonna alternate the first and third and third 30 second count for round, for the second exercise. That was really confusing. I'll walk you through it. <laughs> you're gonna just lift your shoulders and your chest. So you're gonna just do this. Exhale, inhale for the first and third 30 seconds. Second and fourth, just footprints on the ceiling, just here. So we'll alternate for that round two. And then round three, modification is here, crunch. Progression is here, crunch. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, twice, 
with 10 seconds off in between. All right, abs, let's get after it. I'm gonna hit that 10 second setup. All right, that's our 10 second. Starting with those jackknives. Three seconds. Let's hit it. Exhale, crunch up. Inhale, down. Airway open. Flexed feet. The foot that stays down, press it into the ground. Resist. Push and pull at the same time. Lift those shoulders up. Chin to the ceiling. Hop. Hop. And release. Good. Active rest. Yes, we have shield wipers. You are amazing. All right, set up. Let's hit it. Try to start with that opposite side if you remember. Let's be intentional about our movement about creating more balance in our bodies. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, down. And release, good. Windshield wipers, if that feels nice. I'm gonna take it every time. All right, legs down, let's do it. Squeeze, release. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale.
down to that weight tight. you guys grab some water towel off if you need to we get to stretch and cool down together we have earned it it is our sweet treat our dessert of our workout <laughs> okay let's breathe Inhale, arms reach up, squeeze your booty. Exhale, open mouth. <sighs> like you're fogging up a mirror. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Again, inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Good. Cross your thumbs, leave your pointers out, interlace the rest of your fingers. We're going to do a full body stretch and release any leftover tension and stress in the body. Draw your feet together, biceps up by your ears. Press through the balls of your feet, lift your heels, reach your fingertips through the ceiling as you press your toes down through the floor. Lengthen, stretch, 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 and then squeeze. Squeeze and lengthen at the same time. And then slowly release your feet to the floor. Swan dive down. Allow your head to hang heavy, pinkies to elbows. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Shake your head maybe, because we don't always know. Rarely until it's revealed to us, right? Really 
Release your palms to the mat. Step or jump back into plank. Control, merely an illusion most of the time. But we can control our self-care, right? And that's what we're doing today. All right, plank, wide fingers. Squeeze your booty, draw your shoulders down. Inhale, press up through your toes. Exhale, press back, heels towards the mat. Downward facing dog, long spine. Breathe here, bend and extend one or both legs. Play in this space and breathe. Inhale, lift, right leg high. And then exhale through for pigeon. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, sink down. Start to connect with your body, your breath, if you haven't already. Would you guys mind taking love for a walk? Thank you. Good boy. He had one at like six, but it's, it's been a while. Thank you, Rai. endorphins that's good stuff on your next inhale press your palms into the mat flip your back toe lift up three-legged dog option to bend your knee open your hip and move your ankle in either direction inhale three-legged dog square your hips exhale downward facing dog inhale lift left leg high and exhale through for pigeon Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, sink down. On your next inhale, press your palms to the mat, flip your back toe, lift up three-legged dog, Option to bend your knee, open your hip, and rotate your ankle in either direction. Inhale, three-legged dog, square your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Allow your belly to rest heavy on your thighs. Option to stay here, join me in Malasana or go into child's pose. Do what feels right for your body in this moment, today, right now. Option to go into crow if you've been practicing crow. Or I'm going to do dolphin today if you want to join me for dolphin. For dolphin, you're going to interlace your fingers and then come into tabletop. We're going to press through the forearms here and then go into downward facing dog essentially. The key is to never rest your head on the mat. So in dolphin it's super important. You're using your forearms to hold yourself up, activating your shoulders and that the crown of your head never ever touches. And then from here you can play with walking your feet in slightly. And what I like about dolphin is I'm sure you can tell, and then as you kind of walk your feet in a little bit, what happens to your belly button? With the gravity, it goes like your belly button automatically draws in towards your spine and dolphin. Super great way to start more inversions. Get some blood to our head, our brain. And eventually we can start to work towards headstand. But we'll leave that for another day. For now we're in dolphin, unless of course you're already, um, like I know Jude, you'll just pop up. Sherry, a lot of you will just pop up. But if you're new, let's just stick with dolphins today and then next week we'll kind of work our way into practicing more of that headstand. Okay. Join me here. Take your arms out into a T. 
Drawing the feet together. Reach for your left foot. Find your balance, your drishti. Draw your knees together, squeeze your booty. Feel your belly button rise and rise. Draw it right toward your spine and just breathe. Release your foot to the floor. Micro bend, deep bend. Toes are lifted, square hips. Option, dorsiflex, flex the ankle. And then press back with your back heel, toes are lifted, use your core. Left foot behind, reach up and over, side body stretch. Squeeze your booty. And release. Opposite side, shift your weight, reach for your right foot. Try, and, try to find a drishti, a focus point, something that's not moving that you can focus on that will help you with your balance. Squeeze your booty, open up your hip, your quadricep. Breathe, maybe smile. Take in those endorphins. Know that you took care of yourself today so that you can take care of others. Release your foot to the floor, micro bend, deep bend, square your hips. Flex, if that feels nice. Keep your belly button drawn in tight, press through your back heel, lift up. Use your core, right foot behind left. Up and over, side body stretch. Squeeze your booty. I hope y'all are squeezing your booty when you're working, when you're brushing your teeth, dishes, all that stuff. Squeeze it. And release, good. Interlace your fingers, round forward, chin to chest. Squeeze your booty. Release your hands, interlace your fingers, open your chest, press down, squeeze. Draw everything in tight. When you squeeze your booty, notice what else happens, right? Your transverse abdominus draws in, your obliques engage, your back protects your spine, your glutes are engaged. It all works together, it's a canister all the way around. And release, press down, left palm, let your chin fall to the right. Back through center, press down, let your chin fall to the left. And release, big inhale, big open mouth exhale. Join me for meditation, either standing, seated, grab a pillow if you'd like to. I always like to, I love to have some cushion. Oh, it just feels cozy to have a pillow to me. But do what works for you. Wherever you are, just find a position that brings you at ease, allows you to find comfort, self-soothing. Either sit up nice and tall, you can slouch a bit. Whatever feels right in your body in this moment. And then allow your hands to rest easily either on your knees, your belly, one hand on your heart. Depending on where you are and what you need, start to soften your gaze. You can even close your eyes if you would like. And start to focus on the natural sensations of your nourishing breath as you inhale and exhale. 
naturally. And do a self-love and kindness meditation today. everything that I need. I have everything that I need. Mom, can you come play Barbie today? You are enough. Body, you are enough. I have love and kindness for myself. I have love and kindness for myself. Continue to breathe. Notice any sensations in the body. Allow your legs to feel heavy and warm. Allow your belly to feel soft and at ease. Allow your arms to feel heavy and warm. Allow your solar plexus to feel calm and relaxed. Allow your chest and your shoulders to soften and your neck to feel loose your jaw to unwind. Maybe smile. And allow your eyeballs to feel heavy in their sockets. And your forehead to feel cool and calm. When you're ready, start to bring awareness back into your body. You can start to wiggle your toes, to wiggle your fingers, sit up nice and tall, open your eyes if you haven't already. Come back to your present moment, your present reality. Take a moment to show gratitude for yourself, for showing up, for being here for making time for yourself to feel more balanced, more centered, self-care in mind, body, and spirit. Let's all take a big breath. Inhale, arms reach up. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you for joining me, for working out with me Yay. and meditating. Um, this imperfect workout for our imperfect lives. Um, I hope that you have an amazing Friday. And a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Nothing like the kid, kid, kid in the Have a great day, guys. Thanks Woo! again.